Rohan, is that a teepee behind you or are you, um, anyway, what do you got? Bill, it's a teepee behind me, but thank you. Guys, I'm in Mawa, New Jersey at the Ramapo Lenape Nation's prayer camp that they call Split Rock Sweet Water. It feels like I've traveled back in time. It's incredibly peaceful here, but the reason I'm here is not so peaceful and visits a centuries old battle uh, Native Americans have been fighting, the battle for their own land. Now, the 13 acre property is under the microscope uh, of the town of Mawa, stemming from a permit denial that the town gave the tribe that they must take down these teepees and also that the land cannot be used for religious and cultural gatherings, things that they've been doing for years here. Now, I met Chief Perry, good friend of the show, uh, down here at the camp, and he had a lot to say. From basically the day we put the teepee up until now, we've been under nonstop assault by the borough, by the town of Morwall. Uh, what their motivation is, I don't know. Nothing has technically changed, except they've become exceedingly ugly. Now, Mike Kelly, the township engineer, said in a letter that I obtained uh, that the land must be used like any other land in the town. Uh, it's a public open space, so what they can do here is uh, build single-family homes, agricultural uses, or municipal buildings. Uh, now, Perry went on to talk about what goes on here. He's scared that this sacred land uh, might be in jeopardy. We've prepared uh, a permit with a bunch of experts that goes beyond the call of duty. It was just recently denied. But if we would like to get a permit to encompass the entire 14 acres, they've seen fit to break it up into different areas. And just to apply for the permit is $15,000. That said, the Ramapo tribe is going to do what they always have done in the face of adversity. That's survive and go on and go on business as usual. They have no plans of stopping. And actually, Chief Perry invited us and everybody watching, especially the people in this town, to uh, an Earth Day celebration here on Saturday. And uh, they expect it to be really big and really exciting. And they're going to be a ton of people here. Whose land is it? It's owned by the town. It's a public open space uh, like any other park or anything in, in, in town here. Nobody's here 24-7. It's a place where people gather and there's uh, teepees up and tents up uh, so they can go inside if it's raining. So if they took the teepee down and went home and then came back and put it up, would there be as much of an objection? No, I don't think so. Why don't they just take it down and move it and avoid the conflict? Oh, I know why, because they have an agenda. They just want to get noticed. This chief is such a pain in the neck. He's always out there pushing the envelope. He knows he's just doing it to get attention. Listen, listen, it's not about the teepees. You're, you're fixating on the teepees. It's about uh, infringing upon their uh, freedom of religion. They can't uh, practice out here their cultural beliefs. It's funny you should mention squatting, because we're all basically squatting on Native Americans' land. Oh, here we go. Ah, That's very true. We should do a whole show just on that. Unbelievable. All right, thanks, Rohan.